this tutorial is all about adding subtracting neutrons and um, alpha decay. So uh, I should say, just for your viewing pleasure, I have uh, made all the proton stuff red, the neutron stuff blue, and unfortunately this number, as it is defined as a combination of both protons and neutrons, the atomic mass, uh, I didn't know what color to make this, so I kind of made it both, but the order doesn't really matter. I tried purple, but it looks stupid. Right, question one. Uh, so this atom gains a proton. What will it turn into? I said that um, this number down here is the red one, is, is proton stuff. That's the atomic number. So that's the number of protons. Um, so it gains a proton. So we're talking one of these. And it goes from 90 to, well, the number of protons is 90. One more proton will be 91 protons. Look at that. Easy. Um, and then 2, 3, 5. Because this is the combination of all the reds and blues, one more red will give you 2, 3, 6. All right. And it's gone from 90 to 91. Ooh, something weird has happened. Uh... It's gone from because it's changed the amount of protons. It's changed element. The reason for that is uh, uranium, for example, is anything anything we find with 90 protons. Hydrogen is anything we find that when we count the protons, there's one proton. Um, so I need to go and check. Uh, let's see. This is something but 91 protons. So let's see. This. Okay. Here we go. NP. Neptunium. So Neptunium is anything with 91 protons. Cool. That is that question done, dusted. So um, this one is a little bit different uh, because it says complete the equation. I've got to be a, you know, a little bit more professional this time and actually do an equation rather than just say, well, it becomes this. Because um, if I wa was to go back here, this 90 and 91 don't really add up, uh, nah, they just don't. It, an equation means that the stuff on the left has to be equal to the stuff on the right, and they certainly were not. Okay, so I am going to kind of, uh, yeah, I'm going to just paste that in, because that's what we just did last time. Cheat there. And I have to complete the equation this time. So the question is, uh, what can I put in in the middle here to make the left side um, all this stuff here balance with the right side all this stuff here? Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add the proton that they're talking about. The whole thing was they were talking about this proton. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to add a, a p, a little p for proton. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do for a second? I'm just going to put a picture. Or I can do both if I do it right. Look at that. Um, I need to put in the numbers here to, to make it look proper. It's certainly not 235. So this says, this is the top number, is the amount of protons and neutrons. Okay, let me just get rid of the letter for a second. How many protons do you see there? I see one. We are all agreed. That is one proton and neutron. Um, I say proton and neutron, but it's, it, there's only one proton there. Okay, so that's this number, as I said, is the total. How many protons you get and how many neutrons? So one proton, zero neutrons equals one. Um, this one is just the protons. And the just how it happens to be a proton. So I will put in one. Okay, excellent. Um, and I should really make this into a P, so I'll fluff it there. Look at that. Now it's a proton. Oh, I need to put in a plus, because that just looks weird otherwise. Okay, so 235 plus 1, and this is kind of like the equal sign. 236. Yeah, makes sense. 90 plus 1 is 91. We are absolutely... Delighted. Excellent. Okay. 
So the third question is asking us uh, about the loss of a neutron and just asks us to complete the equation. Right, so it's u minus some kind of neutron-y thing will turn into whatever is left after the neutron is gone. So I'm going to put a neutron over here. This is my neutron. And uh, how many protons and neutrons in that? Well, no protons plus one neutron equals one. How many protons in that? Zero. This is just one neutron. And I should really turn this into a little n for neutron. Um, and so this, oh yeah, now there's just a bit of maths could sort me out here. 235 minus 1 equals 234. Don't even have to think about it. 90 minus 0 equals 90. And because I just found out here that uranium has 90 protons, I now know because whatever this I've ended up here seems to have 90 protons, I know it must be uranium. Because anything with 90 protons is uranium. Anytime you see 90 protons, you just got to write a U down. You can't resist. Um, and that's the whole thing done. Let me just check. It makes sense. 235 minus 1, 234. 90 minus 0, 90. Happy days, we're done. Question 4 talks about uranium emitting three neutrons. So this guy, except there's three of them flying out. Um, they're not attached together. They're just, there are three of them. So maybe they all go in different directions. Who knows? All right. So let's see. And the, these neutrons are coming out of the uranium atom. So we expect some of these numbers definitely to go down because there's a loss of mass. Um, so we, I guess what we're going to have here is all the neutrons plus what was ever left over. So I better put a plus there. So it's going to be uranium equals something plus the three neutrons that flew out. Okay, so I'll tell you what. If I can figure out a way of writing these three neutrons, then surely the maths should add up. So instead of these three neutrons, I'm just going to move them over there for a second. Um, I'm going to call this N for neutrons. Now, these numbers, I could put brackets, but I, I'm just going to be a bit lazy here and just write them all as one. Just as long as you know and I know that this is not one gigantic treble neutron. This is three. Okay, so the number, I'm talking about all three of them now, the number of protons and neutrons in this group in total is three, because you've got three neutrons. The number of protons, the red number down here, is zero. All right, so that's that. Now it's gonna make a lot more sense. Check it out. 90 turns into something Plus, oh yeah, maths is going to work out here for me. Best thing to do is to to do this backwards. So 3 plus what equals 235? Well, if I add, I don't know, 232 to it, that should do it. Let's check, yeah, 3 plus 232. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so there's one blank fill in. 0 plus... So, ah, yeah, that's going to be easy. It's going to be 90. Um, yeah, because 0 plus 90 equals 90. Right, and finally, I fill in the blank of what I element this is now. And, oh, look at that. You can probably already guess it. It's got 90 protons. It is our famous uranium. Let's just check. We're all right here. Okay. 235, yeah, I can see that split. 90, excellent. That makes perfect sense. That is the right answer. So question 5 is about an atom emitting a proton. So straight away, I can say that uranium is going to turn into whatever is left after the horrible event, plus a proton. Okay? So step 1 is normal, is to turn this lovely picture of a proton into some less entertaining bit of words and numbers um, so let's see that's going to be a P I'll just write a P here 
Lovely. Uh, bye bye, Proton. You can come back another day. And in that proton, by the way, how many protons and neutrons were there? The total number of the top protons and neutrons. I only see one proton, so that's one. The number of protons down here is also one. Okay. So now this into something plus that. Grand. Okay. It's math time. Let's do it. I'm gonna it's always better to go backwards here, so one plus something equals two three five. Ha. Easy. Two three four. One plus two three four is two five. Cool. One plus something equals ninety. Eighty nine. It's eighty nine. And finally, um, to fill in the blank, I just need to find what in the world 89 proton stuff is called. Let's find out. Ah, uh, PA, PA. I think that's protractinium or something. Weird name. Um. Bah. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at it and make sure it all adds up. Two, three, five. Two, three, four. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So we're now into alpha decaying. So um, firstly, I should say an alpha particle. What it is is one of these. It's two protons. It's two neutrons. They're all stuck in a chunk, and that's what it is. Um, you can also write it as this cool alpha particle thing. You can also write it as HG for helium. Because if you think about it, strictly speaking, we said that anything with uh, one proton is, is, is hydrogen and 90 protons, we always see is uranium. Uh, so anything with two protons, you just go to the periodic table, you'll find over there, two protons is helium. So you could also call it helium. Although I should say, it's not actually the helium. <laughs> you wouldn't want to breathe this stuff in. It's not regular helium. Although it has the protons and the neutrons, uh, this doesn't have any electrons on it. And therefore, it is electron starved. It is dangerous. It will mess you up in a bad way. Alpha is the most ionizing radiation. So I was duck. Um, right, let's get on with it. The question says this thing here, alpha decays, and complete the equation. All right, so that means it turns into a chunk of what's ever left after the alpha flies out. So I'm going to add an alpha here. And as I said, um, I can put in symbols there. I'll, do, I'll, I'll just do the numbers first because that's more important. Okay, so let's figure this one out. The number of protons and neutrons in this alpha particle. I count 1, 2 protons plus 1, 2 neutrons. 2 and 2, 4. 4 in total. Okay, the number of protons. 1, 2 protons. 4, 2. It's probably best just to memorize the 4, 2 because the alpha particle is so common. Um, you, it's a regular customer, you see it all the time. Okay, now it's time, fortunately, for picture you to go. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. In fact, I'll be real fancy. Call it H E. Wah. Um, just to confuse, you know, anyone who's new to it. We'll call it H E. But we know, we know it's just this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Now it just becomes a case of backwards mathematics again. 4 plus something equals 235. That has to be 231. Two. 2 plus something equals 90. Uh, that is 88. So we've got to find out what 88 is on the periodic table, um, what stuff with 88 protons, what's that stuff is called? So, ah, it's thorium. The 
hates. I like that nuclear power plant that I was trying to get off the, the ground. Um, Alright. Let's see if this works out. 90. That. Yes. They add up to be 90. And these two add up to be 235. Excellent. Okay. This atom alpha decays twice. Can you complete the equation? Yes, I can. Alpha decaying twice is fine. I just... It's going to be some... What well, some of the is left over, plus that. And it's going to be two of these. Okay. Um, so, uh, I need to turn these two into some kind of number digit device thing. So, let's bring the numbers over. Okay. Count up. Because this is a total number of protons and neutrons. So, it looks like... Eight of them, isn't there? One, two, yeah. Then this is the number of protons. So I count one, two, three, four. And we should probably, instead of having cool pictures, we should probably, I don't know, put a. Let's do that, that HE thing again. Cool. Alright. Um, so now it's just backwards mathematics time again. Eight plus something equals two three five. So that's gonna be two two seven. Four plus something uh equals ninety. What will you add to four to get ninety? You will add eighty six you will add. Alright. Um, does that work out? Yeah. Happy days. And then what we're going to do is find out what 86 is. So if you check um, on the periodic table, you'll find that element 86 is radon. Anything with 86 protons is radon. Let's double check it. Um, 90, yep, yeah, on this side. Uh, 235 on that side. That's it. Exactly. Um, you could, if you, if you so wanted to, uh, instead of doing this, you could say, you know, 4 and 2, and then basically just double this. Because there is really 2 coming out of it. So this would be perfectly fine as well. So all that's going on here is that uranium is uh, shooting out two helium nuclei, two alpha particles, and it's a little bit lighter afterwards as a result. And that's it. So that is alpha decay two. Um, in the next one we'll look at beta and vision.